Hey guys, this is Peter again from the Yaw VR team and in today's short video I will demonstrate two things. One, the motion compensation with a sort of exaggerated setup in the game engine and then I will show a uh, close to sim racing setup in the game engine in both in a saddle Corsa with the Fanatec DD Pro and the Yaw 2 motion simulator. So for the first part, I have the same setup as with the previous Assetto Corsa video with yaw movements. So you can check the forces here. These are a little bit too much, so definitely not meant to be for sim racing, especially if you check the limits, because I'm going to use the limits like this. Enable vibration, yaw movement is not limited now, and power is 36. Is enough for this. Now what we need here is this new tab in the game engine which is called motion compensation. I have these setups. This is what's important for us now. So we have calibrated this based on this information panel provided. Now here we calculate the height from the floor but it should be updated very soon to the distance from the headset. The reason for doing this is that this method, the current method, does not work if you disable tracking in the Oculus Quest, for example. So if you don't want to use the Guardian to disable it, then this setup will not work at all. But that will be corrected soon. And this is the head distance and height that I have set up for the current motion compensation, which works well, I think. Motion compensation itself has the same setting as before, or slightly different, like 0 0.05 difference. Let's start the simulator and check the gameplay in a set of cores. Uh, now that's all for the settings and now let's check the game with this setup. Now one difference I will have, yeah, I have already show, showed you how to get in and out. This is not the way to do it, but it's it's easy for me because I'm, I'm sort of skinny. Um, one difference you might have realized is that I'm now using a different headset. Uh, the setup is very similar for this, but I gotta say that this is much better with motion compensation. I will just demonstrate the motion compensation, especially for the pitch axis, because when I accelerate, I have a lot of pitch movement, of course, more than more than what's needed. And when I break, the same happens. Then I when I re-accelerate, you can see that there is some movement some movement in the in my view in my camera but not as much as in the previous video certainly not as much it it's way better um, so again it's it's an exaggerated pitch movement of course for acceleration and and uh, and it's sort of yeah, it's hard to see here with these uh, motions because the roll is exaggerated too and when I break from a high speed again you can see that it's quite good like the motion compensation is quite good for this motion um, let's check some yaw movement I don't know if you can see I think you can see some of the yaw movement now right and uh, it's okay, I mean, I'm not getting motion sick at all. 
As you can see, I'm using a different headset, the Focus 3. Um, and I gotta say that it's way better for this purpose than the Oculus Quest 2. Because with that, I felt sort of a lag in motion compensation. But now it's, now it's smooth. I mean, this is fine. Even with this very exaggerated movements, I, I can't... I can't stop, like, uh, emphasizing this, because that's really important. Um, I think this is enough for showing this motion compensation off. I mean, really, like, uh, like it's, it's way better than before, due to the center of height and uh, distance from the head adjustment in the game engine, and because we have switched to the HTC Vive headset, the Focus 3. Now let's check the sim racing setup. So in this setup, we try to adjust the forces so that it's a little bit more realistic for sim racing. So we did the following. We increased the multipliers a little bit here, which you can check, uh, for example here, acceleration pitch is a lot bigger than before. And also acceleration vertical on the Rolexes is larger as well, a lot larger I mean. On the other hand, we did some limitations here. So we increased the power slightly, like I know 15, 20%, but we limited the roll, the pitch, and the pitch movements to a very low degree so that it does not produce this large movement that you saw in the motion compensation setup. Let's see the adjusted settings. Adjusted for sim racing, sort of, which means, as I showed in the game engine, that there are similarly, there are similarly large forces, even larger, but less in magnitude due to the limits that I have implemented in the game engine. So I think you can see that when I brake or accelerate, I don't get through back to the floor or in front to the floor, but the movements are, yeah, less, like smaller in magnitude as I told you. So this is just to show this off. Okay, now I get some vibration from the steering wheel when I, when I hit the side of the track, but I do miss the forces from the simulator, which is because a set of course is not sending data uh, for, for, yeah, for the wheel forces themselves. So when I, when I go in the grass on the, or the side, like the curved side, then I, then I don't get any feedback from the simulator because the game is not sending this data. But at least the steering wheel has it, which is strange to me. So I, we, we might be updating the plugin and talk with the developers of this game to solve this issue. Because that's the only thing actually now that I miss for a full experience here. Because otherwise, this is pretty realistic, and I especially like uh, shifting gears. Like this shaking movement is so realistic then, way better than with the previous settings, of course. And braking is much more realistic, and acceleration is as well, like as I told you. And anyways, I mean, that's all, like, I just wanted to show you this adjusted setting for, for sim racing and it feels way better. I know I have to practice a lot more. <laughs> My skills are not the best, but I think you, you get, get the idea, you get what I mean. So let me just stop here. I pretty like this new setting, uh, it was fun. I uh, hope you liked the video as well. If you have any feedback about either the new settings, the motion compensation, or any requests for future videos, don't hesitate to leave a comment or shoot us an email at sales.yavr.com. 
um thanks for watching again and see you in the next video cheers guys